What's up guys? Here are some basic and simple gun safety tips. Uh, everybody knows, always keep a gun pointed in a safe direction at all times. Uh, I believe all accidents happen with an unloaded gun. Everybody thought, I mean, they all say the same thing. I thought it was unloaded. Well, that's why you treat it like it is always loaded. Even when you are absolutely positive that it is unloaded, you still treat it as though it is loaded. Uh, gun safety tip number two, don't lick your gun. Don't do that. It can be very hot. Mine's hot right now. I've been burning up a bunch of ammo. Um, let's see. Gun safety number three. After you burn a couple of uh, magazines really quick, do not stuff it down the front of your pants. That would be bad. Trust me, I know. From experience. Mm. Makes you dance, to be honest. Just takes all the fun out of the day. Out of the week, actually, if you push it down far enough. Uh, let's see. What's another good tip besides don't eat yellow stuff? Um... Oh yeah, the bullets go forward. That's another thing. Never put the bullets in backwards. Uh, yeah, that's that's fine. Actually, there's a lot of people that uh, have that kind of knowledge of guns that they uh, they think they know uh, everything that there is to know about guns, but actually they don't. Uh, they see a few movies and they watch you know people on TV with their guns, and you know they want to buy a gun for self defense. And they figure, well, I'm okay now. I have at home. Well, actually, if you've never had any training or never really fired a gun or you fired, you know, a gun once or twice in your life, um, you are actually in more danger with a loaded gun in your house than with uh, The simple reason is, you know, everybody that buys a gun, you know, they want to check it out. Hey, man, look what I've got. You know, you want to take it with it, you want to rack the slide, you know, you want to load it up and, and rack the slide and spit the bullets out and play with it and everything like that. And that's when accidents happen. Uh, not knowing what the hell you're doing with it. And, uh, you know, you shoot through the wall and you're in the next door neighbor or whoever's in the next room. Uh, what you see on TV and in the movies is not like real life. There's a lot of responsibility that uh, goes on with owning a handgun. Um, if you don't train, it's not going to serve you well at all. Uh, a lot of people say, well, you know, if somebody comes in, I'll just shoot them in the kneecap, like I heard my stepmom say. Well, you have never fired this gun before, and if you don't get any training, you really think you can hit a moving target about this big in the heat of the moment of somebody charging you or coming into a town? I'm a damn good shot. I'm not really sure I can do that. I'd have to spray the area to try and hope to hit a kneecap that's running at you. No, I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, training videos and stuff that I've seen, you know, have you stayed in isosceles or the weaver or anything like that? You know, you get into a gunfight, you're not going to take a stance in a gunfight. You know, that stuff that they show you, you know, you get in a, in a weaver and... and you know, you oscillate, cover the whole area. Oscillators make good ventilators. In reality, when a gunfight happens, there's movement. A lot of movement. If you get into a gunfight and have to pull your gun, you better be running at the same time. If somebody else has a gun and they're shooting at you, draw your gun and stay stationary. You have to get to cover. And you have to get round, downrange, and on target. The first one to land around is going to be the one to win the fight. But anyway, that's a whole nother video. Uh, I'm just being goofy here. Uh, I'm really tired. Don't know what else much to say, but uh, I'm going to end it here with a few rounds because this video is already coming up about five minutes. And uh, to be quite honest with you, I wasn't even in the mood to make any videos, but I've been promising it. And uh, I just really wanted to come and enjoy some time at the range before I go home and get a nice hot shower, drink a nice cold beer, and sleep for about 12 hours before I have to get up and uh, go to work. And hopefully in a few days I can take a couple of days off, get some very much needed rest, 
and uh, get my butt back here to the range and make a right proper video and uh, maybe prank somebody too. That's something I've been wanting to do. But anyway, I'm going to sign off, guys. Hang on. See a bad guy. Recoil is amazing. Very controlled. The more I use it, the easier it becomes with these targets. Or I mean with these sights. I uh, didn't really like them sights too much. Oh, all my magazines are empty. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> didn't really like the sights, but I'm getting used to them. Uh, still going to change them. I'm going to get some tritium night sights. They glow in the dark for like 10, 12 years. You guys, I'll talk to you later. Keep smiling and I love you.